a side piece. Of course, I post subliminals about everything your girlfriend posts on her page. I'm watching her from a fake one. I'm a side piece. Of course, I cook five course meals every time you come over. I have to ask who cooked it better. Who? I'm a side piece. Of course, I know that you stay because she won't let you see the kids if you leave. I mean, why else would you propose to her and take her on vacation, right? I'm a side piece. Like, of course, anytime I see you out on date night with your woman, I'm going to blow you up and drive past whatever location she tags you guys in. I'm a side piece. Of course, I'm going to investigate your wife and feed you information like she's the one who's cheating. I mean, did you see how she leaned on her cousin in those family photos? It's sus. I'm a side piece. Of course, I hang with other side pieces. Why would I want friends that don't lie to me to further my delusions or hold me accountable for intentionally hurting other women? I'm a side piece. Of course, I constantly post about haters and stalkers, even though I'm the hater and a stalker. I'm a side piece. Of course, I know you guys live together, but like, don't have sex. I know you sleep on the couch. You're just roommates with the same last name. I'm a side piece. Of course, I'm going to take you in after your wife kicks you out and then constantly post online about how I saw him, want him, got him like you picked me. <laughs> because you did, right? You picked me, right? You picked me. After seven years of being a side chick, can you become that next chick after... You want to become the main chick? <laughs> like, you've been a side chick for seven years? You can side. you? Do you can really you? want that demotion? Can you? Can you? Right. Going from the side chick to the main chick a lot of times is a demotion. And well, we think it's yeah. a promotion. No, it's not. Because let, let me tell you something. As the side chick, he was honest with you about his infidelities. He was honest with you about his problems that he was having inside his marriage. Guess who, who was probably completely oblivious to that? The main chick. And so a lot of the times what you'll do is fine. You'll go from the woman he was cheating with to the woman he's cheating on. Anyway. Got it, got it. my boyfriend who he was texting the other day when I was sitting on his couch and he said his girlfriend and then I forgot I was a side chick <laughs> I asked my boyfriend who he was texting the other day when I was sitting on his couch and he said his girlfriend and then I forgot I was a side chick <laughs> This video is for all the side chicks who feel so special because their married boyfriend spoils them and gives them great gifts and takes them out and things like that. And you're sitting there feeling all like you're so important and you're thinking, his wife is such a fool. Like if she only knew that her husband is over here spoiling me with expensive gifts and things like that. Something for you to think about. You have chosen to be in a relationship with someone who is going to cheat on you. You have chosen to be cheated on. So while you feel like she's the fool and you're getting spoiled and you feel so special, the wife doesn't know that she's being cheated on. She thinks she's in a committed loving relationship, building a life with somebody, sharing a family with somebody, and maybe she's having her suspicions, those gut instincts, things like that, but she doesn't actually know. But you, sweetheart, you know, you have chosen to be with someone who's already with somebody else. And no matter what he tells you, no matter what you choose to believe, 
he is still, no matter how much he says he hates the woman or whatever, he still is giving her hugs. He still is kissing her, sleeping with her, going out and doing fun things with her, holding hands with her, and all of those relationship things when he's not busy spoiling you. So while you think she's an idiot, you're the real fool because you chose to be cheated on regardless of the lies he tells you. So who's the fool now? Oh, and 90% chance he's not going to ever leave his wife. So you're also, also in a dead-end relationship. Good job. Hello? Hello? I'm looking for my, my husband, uh, Donovan. Your husband? Yes. What you mean? What's your husband name? Donovan. You can't have a husband, Donovan, because his wife right here. Well, I'm his wife, too. What you mean? Who is that? Mom. <laughs> this is his daughter? Donovan said. This is daughter Maya. This is Di. His wife. And this I'm his Donovan. wife? Hi. Um, you're his wife? Yes. No, sweetie, I'm his wife. I I've been with him for 25 years. So how long you been with him? 10. 10. 10. Ten. So wait a minute. He had Yes. My Again? My nine-year-old daughter's right here. And this is his daughter right here, too. Okay, well, she's nice. Okay, this baby. Yeah, she's pretty. Yeah, she's Thank you. Where's Donovan? I ain't hear all that. I ain't no Donovan. Okay, guys, listen to me here. Sweet. Well, I see his bike outside. You, um, I, I don't have nothing to do with none of this. Um, you're, you're a black woman. We're all black women. But this is my husband. And yes, he is here because we are together. And that is my my husband. Donovan, come, come outside. Girl, come outside, Donovan. I don't know what. Come outside, Donovan. Don't play with me. I, I, see you hide, I see him hiding behind a door. He hiding behind a door. So, um, this is my, my husband is here, so I don't, this is our daughter, so I don't have to tell you. Donovan, come on, I ain't got time for all this. Oh, it's a prank. Can you get your baby? It's a prank. Can you get your baby? Her daddy up in here? Her daddy, her daddy is Donovan. I found out my husband was cheating on me when he got arrested for disturbing the peace after he got into a very public fight with his affair partner. Now he's more upset she found out he's married than that our family has been torn apart. I'm 34. My husband is 38 and we have three children together, six, four, and eight months. Early this morning, I got a phone call from a police station in a neighboring town that my husband has been arrested. I needed to go pay and get him out. I was completely shocked. When I asked them what was going on, they said he got arrested for disturbing the peace after getting into an unreasonably loud verbal altercation with someone in a residential neighborhood and not stopping even after the police got there. My first thought was that this wasn't my husband because my husband has never been a confrontational person at all. He's never gotten arrested before. And as far as I knew, he was working an overnight shift. But they insisted it was him, so I woke up our kids, packed them into the car, and went down to see what the hell was going on. When they went to get him, he was incredibly irritated. He didn't answer any questions. He said he didn't want to talk there, and then when we got to the car he insisted on driving, and told me to sit in the back to try to get the kids to go to sleep for the trip. They were all out of sorts because they were tired, confused, and not used to seeing their dad act so aggravated. By the time we got home and all of the kids were back asleep, it was about 6 a.m. and this entire time he had been texting someone. So I finally just told him to tell me what the hell was going on, and who the person he was fighting with, and why he had lied about being at work. First, he told me a story that he had driven his co-worker home after the co-worker had gotten sick. And he had gotten into a fight with the co-worker's girlfriend, because she had thought my husband was lying to cover for his co-worker. But the story seemed fishy and there was a lot of it that didn't make sense. But he was amending it the more he told it, so he was clearly making it up on the spot. And the whole time he was still getting texts on his phone. So I told him to show me who was texting and he refused. So I told him to tell me the real story. And eventually he admitted he was cheating on me, and he has been for a while. And last night, his other woman found out he was married and they got into a huge argument. I finally looked at his phone and saw what he had been texting the entire time. He was texting her, begging her for forgiveness telling her that he was going to leave me, he always planned on leaving me from the moment he fell in love with her. He was going to tell her, but he had wanted to wait until he had an apartment closer to her setup, so he could show her he was serious. The entire night he didn't once say sorry to me or try to work things out. Today, he left for work after I found everything out and has only texted me, working late. I know our relationship is over. I just wish he would have tried to at least fight for his family. It's like he doesn't even care what this is going to put our kids through. I don't know what advice I'm looking for to be honest. Anything, I guess. Girl, good night. Pick a bed and go to sleep. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. Bye-bye.